Hey, hey, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with another pregnancy update. This will be for weeks 29 and 30 with our first baby um, via IVF. And we are pregnant with a little girl. She's due in May, May 4th. So if you are interested in seeing how things have been the past couple weeks, go ahead and keep watching. So I use the app, The Bump, and I love it. I also use the Ovia app, I really like that one too, but um, this one says that she is the size of a zucchini. So that's interesting because I've had some pretty big zucchinis come out of my garden. <laughs> um, but that's the overall feeling too that I have been feeling the past couple weeks is just big. Um, my belly is just in the way <laughs> a lot, um, but I'm very happy for that because that means she's growing and that's what we want, right? So um, I did forget to tell you guys in our last update at 27, 20 week, 28 weeks, um, my husband Eric finally felt baby girl move at 27 weeks. So that was very exciting and I was happy to find that he finally felt that because I swear every time she, he put his hand on my belly, she would stop moving. So he finally felt her move, felt her kick, and he's felt it a lot since then. So that's been really fun. I did want to say it's pretty cool in the Ovia app. It'll show you the size of her, like your baby's hand and foot. Um, so this is what after like nine months, it, the outlined one, that's how big her foot should be. And then the pink one is um, how big her foot is right now. And I just think that's really cool. Like her foot is like that big right now. So, um, and sometimes I feel like I can feel her foot like specifically like on my side. I can feel the outline of her foot or something. It seems like a foot, but I don't really know. So I'm just gonna go through those questions that I answer basically every pregnancy update, um, starting with weight gain. I think I am pushing 35 pounds right now, weight gain, but I don't know for sure because like I said, I haven't really been tracking my weight that much. I just kind of see what I am when I go to the doctor, um, but I think I am around 35 pounds at this point. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so I'm definitely gonna hit probably 40, to 45 pounds at least, I think, by the time I'm done with this pregnancy. And I feel it, you guys. I totally feel heavy and puffy and yeah. But I'm just hoping that it doesn't take too long to kind of at least get that down a little bit after I have her. Um, like I'm not expecting to go back to my pre-pregnancy or I really wanna say pre-IVF weight because I gained like five to 10 pounds during IVF. So, um, yeah, I'm hoping that I can at least, at least get rid of all the, like, puffiness, if that makes sense. Like, I'm just, yeah, very swollen already, and I'm just, I've got 10 weeks left, guys, I can do this. Okay, so I am, like, starting to not be able to fit into some of my maternity clothes at this point, and it's just so frustrating because I don't know what to wear. I literally just want to stay at home every day, wear, like, one of two pairs of like pajama bottoms, sweatpants, leggings, whatever that I have. Um, and like Eric's t-shirts, that's all I wanna wear because it's just, yeah. I am wearing a dress today um, that is just a maxi dress and it's not even maternity, but um, it's pretty comfortable. I'd say dresses are probably the most comfortable thing, honestly. Um, I can't fit in my maternity jeans anymore. I can, but I just, they're not comfortable. So, anywho, um, yeah, I, I don't know if I'm gonna want to invest in any more maternity clothes because I only have 10 weeks left, but I still want to look like I, when I go out, I want to look like I am not, like, completely letting myself go. Um, and, like, shoes, I, I'm a whole size bigger right now. I only have like two pairs of shoes that really fit me. Um, so I, yeah, I don't know. 
guys, it's so hard to dress when you're pregnant. At least for me, it's been pretty hard. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys like had similar experience with maternity clothes, like if it was a constant struggle for you and maybe any hacks or things you did to help with that. So I don't have any stretch marks on my belly yet um, that I can really see. There's like one little mark that could be my sh a stretch mark, but it's kind of where that line is, that linea negra, is that what it's called? I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but that line, I have that line down my stomach and it's there's like a darker line kind of in it, if that makes sense, I don't know. So it could be a stretch mark by my belly button there, but I don't know. Other than that, I don't really have any other stretch marks that I can see so far. <laughs> hey, are you gonna stand here with me? Okay, okay, let me just thank you. This is Poe, my puppers, my firstborn. Um, sorry, he's gonna be in here with me for a minute. And you're really breathing loud, you know that? Okay, um, I am sleeping pretty well. Um, so well that I'm snoring a lot still. Poor Eric. He's kind of, I think, transitioned to just sleeping in the guest room right now because he's really not getting a lot of sleep. Um, and I have been snoring so bad that on two occasions I have woken myself up. So, yeah, it's getting pretty bad. So I don't blame him for not wanting to sleep with me. In the past couple of weeks, I was able to go to Arizona where a lot of my family is from. And, um, we actually had a funeral. I talked about this. Um, but anyway, we had a funeral and that was no fun. Not, not a happy, obviously experience, but it was nice to get to spend some time with family and see them. And yeah, that was, it was surprising too, because I have a lot of, I was thinking about it. I have a ton of cousins that are girls and they were all there and none of them are pregnant which is so weird because they all have they've all been like having a lot of kids the past few years and it's like the first time that none of them are pregnant and I was the only one that was pregnant which is kind of crazy they all had babies like within the past year and a half or so so that's probably why they're all on their little break um but yeah that was really good to get to spend some time with family I do feel like her movements are slowing down just a little bit. Not that they're slowing down, they're just like harder and slower. Like before I'd feel like t -t -t -t, like little flutters and like then it was kind of like a little punching motions or something. And then now it's like one like slow, strong kind of movement. Um, I mean, I do this, but I really don't know what body part in there is making the movement. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Like as she's moving, I, moving, I can like feel like put my hand there and like slowly feel it move across my stomach. It's weird, but also really cool. I am still craving salad, which I'm so happy about that, but I'm also craving cereal again, like I did in my first trimester. Um, I'm also really tired like I was in my first trimester, but I think I'm more tired than I was like at seven, eight weeks. I feel like I'm more tired. I, I can sleep all day, all night if I'd let myself. <laughs> I literally feel like I'm holding a bowling ball around in my stomach right now. It's just so heavy. And I usually wake up feeling not too bad, like feeling okay. Um, but then like as I go throughout the day, oh man, by the end of the night, I'm just so done carrying this thing around. So I am, yeah, that, I won't miss that feeling. <laughs> I'll miss the feeling of her kicking and stuff, but I will not miss the feeling of just like constantly carrying weight. Um, like I feel like my weight is forward a lot and so my back hurts. Um, but yeah, that's typical I think with every pregnancy. Probably every pregnant woman can, can say they feel that. My belly button is still in, which is super funny. I, I don't even know. I don't know if it'll pop, but it's, yeah, it's still an any. It's definitely stretched. It's like almost flat, but yeah, it hasn't popped yet. Um, I feel like I have been pretty moody, especially the past couple days. Um, but I think honestly, it's because I, so a few days ago, I, you guys know I do yoga every morning 
And a few days ago, I did a yoga, prenatal yoga video. And I was doing hero pose, which is knees forward and your feet are behind you. You're kind of sitting on your heels, but I had a block underneath me. So I was sitting on the block. But then when I came out of that pose, my right foot, kind of like my fifth metatarsal, like the top of my right foot, top middle part, hurt really bad. And I felt like I needed to stretch it or something, but that wasn't helping. Um, and so then I went to walk on it and I couldn't walk on it. It hurt so bad. And so the next day I had my OB appointment. So I was like, I'll just wait until I can see the OB and see if like what he says about it. Um, but I was really cranky about getting hurt because it just, I already feel so heavy and like I'm waddling around and I can't do everything that I want to do when I want to do it um, because I just need to rest. Um, and so this kind of was putting me out again and I was just like, Ugh. I just want to be able to work out and clean the house and go to work and be like, do all the same things I was doing before I was pregnant, but I really just have to rest. And then with this hurt foot, I was like, now I like, it forces me. Like I really can't do anything. It just, cause I couldn't walk around. So I went to the OB on Thursday, the day after I hurt my foot. And, um, you know, I, the day before I just tried to keep it elevated and I iced it and all that stuff. And then when I went to the OB, he checked it and he said that he wanted to do an x-ray. And I was like, oh, I didn't know I could do an x-ray cause I'm pregnant. And he said that I could, um, like they would protect me or whatever because it was on my foot um but he said but if you want to wait a week um and see if it gets any better if it doesn't get any better then let's do an x-ray because it could be a stress stress fracture because it was by the metatarsals where he said stress fractures occur so he wanted to rule that out he said he didn't think it was broken based off like looking at it and stuff but only a uh, an x-ray can tell with stress fractures. I can't say that word. Anyway, so um, we ended up not doing an x-ray that day um, and I decided I would just wait it out for a week to see if it was feeling better. He said, call me in a week if it's not feeling better. And it's um, Sunday now, so just, you know, a few days after that. Um, and it's pretty much feeling better. I still feel a little tightness when I walk, um, but I can walk on it and I Try not to put, I'm still trying to like keep it elevated and take care of it, you know, like ice it and stuff uh, and rest and not be on it too much. But um, I think it's for the most part better. I don't think it's broken. So, um, which is great. I'm so relieved. So, so relieved. And that's probably why also that I've been really cranky because I feel like I've had to like nag Eric to do a bunch of stuff that like I usually do. And I'm fine usually doing around the house, you know, I, things I enjoy, but I just like, I couldn't do. And so anyway, um, yeah, I'm just really hoping that it, it continues to heal up and I can function better, <laughs> not fully back to, you know, where I was pre-pregnancy because I've still got this bowling ball belly that I've got to carry around with me. But, um, but yeah, so the... Uh, like not having a broken foot definitely would will be a, a good thing. So anyway, that's probably why I've been cranky and I think I'll hopefully ease up on the crankiness um, and the moodiness. But I've heard that was, that's a common um, symptom in your third trimester is the cr like mood swings. So yeah, hoping um, I can just be happier. <laughs> So over the next couple weeks, we're going to be heading to just out of town to babysit my nieces. Um, they're usually pretty, you know, they're not too hard. They're three, going to be, one's going to be three. She's going to be three, four, no, hold on. Yeah, three, four, and seven, six. Anyway, um, so we have, we'll have those three cuties for a few days while my brother um, and his wife travel. Um, so we'll be doing that and I'm looking forward to that. I'm also like, Oh, I hope I, I'm probably going to be pretty tired <laughs> down there, but we babysat them when I was 10 weeks pregnant and I was tired then too. And things seemed to go fine. So 
that's one thing we have going on over the next couple weeks. Yeah, I don't see my doctor again for a month. Um, I thought I would see him every two weeks, but he said I'll come in at 34-ish weeks. And then I think every week after that, or every two weeks after that, I don't know yet. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this pregnancy update today, you guys. Oh, I did want to touch a little bit about names. We don't have a name picked out yet. People do ask us that all the time. Let's just say if we had to pick a name today, I don't think me and my husband would be on the same page. So we need to chat about that. I like the name that he likes and he likes the name that I like, but the name that I like is not his number one choice and vice versa. So um, I've really been thinking about names a lot and trying to like call her names and picture what it'd be like to call her the names that we like, but it's really hard. It's really, really hard. So um, that's been more in my mind like, okay, we really need to solidify this, I think, before she comes maybe, but ooh, who knows, who knows. And I think in the next month, I'm going to be having at least two baby showers. Um, and then one that's like kind of just a family dinner, um, baby shower celebration type thing. So that will be fun. That's what I'm looking forward to as well. Um, I don't, I think I mentioned here on, on here before, I don't love baby showers, traditional like baby showers, but um, I like the idea of us all just kind of getting together more casually. I don't know. I just don't love baby showers because I don't love all the like birth talk and I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, but um, we'll probably have those in the next month. I was going to tell you guys I had a dream that I had her at 30 weeks and you know, I'm 30 weeks right now. So I'm really hoping that doesn't, that was just a dream. Although she was like seven pounds in the dream. She was seven pounds and eight ounces or something at 30 weeks. Um, but I think technically she's only supposed to be two or three pounds right now. So anyway, really hoping that doesn't happen. Um, I would rather go over 40 weeks than have a baby that early. So that is it for this pregnancy update. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to follow me on my other social media platforms. I'll put, um, the like handles up here and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank you.